Core Station has been re-released, and Core Station is a station that features a somewhat unique power system. It is a station that may require a use of a generator if you are not immediately someone who sets up power. It is very often in Space Station 14 that uh, engineers just somehow fail to set up power in the beginning of a shift when nothing's going on. Um, I can't really fix that, but I'm making this video to explain how to fix the problem later. Core Station only has 12 AME parts, which means you can only have a 2 core AME with this setup. This is not enough to actually power the whole station. So if I just take all the parts real quick and build AME. So I have immediately built the AME on round start. I'm wrenching it in place now. I haven't done anything else other than immediately run to set up the AME. And I will just go show you that even with me setting it up immediately on round start, the SMESs have drained to almost half, and the AME on this station, as I said, is not adequate enough to power the whole station, so you must set up the Singularity round start. Um, I suppose Cargo could probably order more AME cores, and then you could just run the whole station in the AME no problem. You could also set up Solars, but Solars are also inconsistent and don't really provide that much power, and uh, for power you definitely want consistency. So I'm going to just show you how to set up the singularity on core station. It's, it's technically work. This will work on any station, but core station will need this the most out of any of the stations currently. Um, I'm just going to set up the singularity, and core station's very forgiving for this. Core station, you just have to put in the low voltage wires in each part, which is very simple, and then you must screwdriver each part. The only thing you have to do is that the gravitational singularity generator itself is actually not at the center. So you have to grab this as well. And obviously I'm going to need a hard suit. So we just head outside. And you don't even have to worry about spacing it because the doors will bolt automatically. So not much fear here. And we just drag the singularity thing over. And I'm just showing you how to do this fully uh, to be somewhat redundant. Um... Not everyone knows how to set up a Singularity, but a Core Station, it's really easy. You just drag the Singularity uh, generator to the center and wrench it in place. And now all you have to do is run around in a circle, turning every single thing on. You just left-click, and you can also alt-click the emitters to lock them. Make sure the containment field generators are on. I have seen many Singularities go loose because people forgot to simply press left-click on the field generators. Very simple. And now that everything is online, all we have to do is go back inside. So the SMESs are at 49%, so like, the AME almost powers the whole station. So at this point, all I would have to do is scan, turn the 1, and turn it on, and we'll be good to go for a long time. However, I'm going to show you what you can do if you didn't do this in time. So this is obviously the worst case scenario. All the SMESs are dead, all the substations are dead. So, what can we do to get power back? It is actually really easy on Core Station to get out of a absolute emergency as long as you still have access to the Singularity equipment. All you have to do is walk over towards Atmos. There is a normal Pac-Man generator sitting right in front of Atmos. And inside Atmos, there is a full stack of plasma. So all you have to do is take this Pac-Man and drag it to the Singularity Room, which I'm an idiot and I re-anchored it. The substation medium voltage wires are right here, and the whole Singularity only needs medium voltage wires to function. So we just re-anchor the Pac-Man to here. On this UI, we want to swap to medium voltage wires, and we just put the plasma in, start the generator, now it is powering the medium voltage network. However, we need to do a tiny bit of work. A T-Ray scanner would be helpful here, but this APC only powers outside, so this doesn't directly help us actually start the singularity. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crowbar up a few tiles because we want to connect this APC basically to the rest of engineering. So let's grab the low voltage cables that were already provided from earlier. And 
There we go. We have connected to the main APC. This generator is enough to provide the power for this. And all we have to do is turn it on. It's going to take just a second or two in order to get enough draw. But this allows you to power engineering just long enough to get the singularity shooting. And it only takes just a few seconds for the singularity to start firing. And there we go. I saw the screen distort, which means we have a level 1 singularity. I rotate my camera, you can see it. I'm not going to close it until I see it go purple, and very good to go. So, uh, we could turn the generator back off. We only use 4 fuel, meaning that if you mess up and lose the singularity for some reason, you could just restart the generator. We can rehook up, or put the floor tiles back down, and as you can see, the SMESs are indeed generating power. It is, like I said, it's uh, pretty simple to jumpstart power, even in the event of a total station power loss. You just need the single Pac-Man and the provided materials in engineering to get core station power back online. Um, if the singularity is sabotaged, uh, well, the station's probably fucked anyway, because core station is designed with the singularity at the middle. So uh, you won't really be worrying about power issues anymore, because there won't be anything off the power. And if somebody blows the AME, well, you don't really need it. You could just stick down the Pac-Man and free power the Singularity. Core Station's power completely functions around the Singularity. Uh, I mean, the Singularity is the center of the station. So I think that's part of the point. Uh, the only thing you have to do is after about 20 or so minutes, the fuel will die. Meaning that the Singularity will also die because uh, the... So after about 20 or so minutes, the plasma will run out in the radiation collectors, and you're going to have to get Atmos, CE, or the senior engineer to refill them back up. And you may lose the singularity, but it's okay. There's a second gravitational uh, generator in the room over here. Or you could just ask Cargo to order it. Uh, these aren't that expensive. And uh, Cargo is definitely willing to buy things to keep their power going, because they kind of need power, so does everyone else. Also, there's a free use, there's a free infinite energy generator here. Uh, it's really not that significant, but I mean, you might as well take the free power. You could literally just stick it right here, and you'll be getting a little bit of extra power out of it well, but that's pretty min maxi. Also, quick bonus tip. For whatever reason, this substation does absolutely nothing. It's not hooked up to anything other than the high voltages, so that means it's just going to be powered up from the start of the shift. Uh, you could totally also just drag this substation from here back over to engineering and just replace this one because it'll be at 100% power. So that's another way to jumpstart the singularity for some whatever reason you can't... You, so if you can't find the Pac-Man or you somehow lost or used the plasma and there's just absolutely no way to get fuel for it, uh, you could also just replace the substation, which will always be powered unless somebody also sabotaged that, but then... <laughs> I don't know. You're probably going home if somebody's done that much damage.